Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the combination Kydex and Leather Holster by Falco, sold to you from Craft Holsters. So stay tuned. Okay guys, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Craft Holsters um, apparently has liked my past two reviews and so asked me to pick a third holster to review. And I've been really wanting an outside the waistband holster. And I also wanted to be able to show off the fact that they make more than just leather holsters. They also do Kydex. Um, they do have some full Kydex holsters, but I really wanted the combination leather and Kydex for a very specific reason. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But it is made, as you can see right there, by Falco. Uh, so these are all handmade just like the other two that I've reviewed so they do take a little time to get but I'm gonna tell you something so far the other two were worth it I've been using this for a month possibly a little bit longer but I'm gonna tell you this is my favorite one so far uh, now as you can see here the thickness of the kydex well, this way and the leather I think the leather is about a quarter inch thick this is two different colors of uh, leather the stitching is absolutely perfect. And as you can see here, they even add some stitching here on the Kydex all the way around and even the backside. The belt loops are for an inch and a half belt, inch belt. Um, I will say with this type of holster on the outside the waistband, um, with inside the waistband holsters, the belt doesn't matter nearly as much as it does with the outside the waistband. So you're going to need a very rigid, um, a lot of times you could say tactical belt, but they do make leather belts that are really thick as well. Um, I'm pretty sure Craft Holsters also makes leather belts, so you might want to check that out. Um, I'll annotate it if they do or not. Um, but having a gun belt is going to be important because inside the waistband, your belt is holding the gun up against your body, right? So it's kind of compressing it like that. But with an outside the waistband, your belt is completely supporting all of it. So you definitely need a very rigid belt. Personally, I use the uh, 511. Spec Ops belt, I think it's called. I can't remember the model. I've had it for like three years, but still works perfect. But it's a really good option. Uh, but there's plenty of others out there. Um, now, why did I want this one so much? Because I wanted outside the waistband. I'm working part time at a shooting range, um, and you know I've started working there over the summer. I've been wearing inside the waistband holsters, but I really wanted one to go outside the waistband so that it's basically just more comfortable. All my inside the waistband holsters are really comfortable, but this just takes it to the next level. To the point where I can wear this eight to 10 hours at a time and literally don't even feel that I'm wearing it. That's how comfortable it is. Um, now we'll say that the retention as you hear here is okay when it's in this state, right? Cause when actually when I first got it, I got kind of nervous cause I turned it over and it fell right out and I'm like, hmm. But once it's on your belt, and it's conforming to your body, you now don't have to worry about it falling out because it actually cinches it down and brings the holster, let's see if you can tell, into more contact. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell, but it just cinches it down onto the gun so that way you don't have to worry about it coming out. Um, so give me just a second, let me put it on and then show you what I, or how it looks. All right, so I want to come back out here where there's a little more light. So as you can see what it looks like while it is on. Um, now, one of the good things about this is that since it has a leather backing and not the Kydex, it's conformed more to your body. So if you wanted to just do this, so when I'm at work, I always have my shirt tucked in so that people can see that I'm carrying. But when I leave work, all I got to do is this. And as you can see, still conceals it pretty well. Now, a lot of this is going to be determined by the type of clothing that you're wearing. Um, I am not a huge fan of button downs. I really only try to wear those if I absolutely have to, because um, <laughs> that's just not my thing. I'm more of a t-shirt kind of guy. Um, but if you were to have a lightweight jacket, you're still not gonna notice a hoodie. That's gonna cover it up quite well. So you still have good concealed carry capability, but also the convenience or the speed. Let's just move back down here again of the quickness of the three o'clock draw that is also coming from outside the waistband. So I will say that I do love that a lot. Reholsterings a little bit faster as well as, you know, trying to go inside your pants. 
Um, I mean, I've just been absolutely really impressed with this. Uh, like I said, from the biggest aspect, it's comfort. The comfort is just amazing because literally, I don't I mean, I've had guns where, you know, or different holsters where I can wear it all day and it's comfortable, it does its job, but at the same time, uh, you know you have it on, right? Even if though it's, it may be comfortable, you're still always aware of it. With this one, I mean, literally you can almost forget that it's there. <laughs> like that's how well it rides on the hip. And I just love how close it comes to the hip because there's a lot of outside the waistband holsters that are like, especially if they're full kydex, you know, they come out to like right here, um, which can mean a little bit faster draw and stuff like that, but it also means it's much harder to conceal if you needed it to. So this one, since it comes in so close, I mean, as you can see, it's tucked right up against my side, much more concealable, which to me is key because, you know, if I'm carrying, I don't want people to know that I'm carrying. All right, let's get back to the porch and we'll give the final thoughts. All right, so final thoughts. Do I recommend this? Well, hopefully you can tell by the way I've been talking about it already that yes, I highly recommend this one. Um, it's a little more expensive than the last two. I think it's about $100, maybe like 105 But for what you're getting, I mean, you're going to get so much longevity out of this, it's going to be ridiculous. I mean, the thickness of that leather, and of course, you know, it's got that sweat guard on it too, so it's protecting your firearm from getting all sweaty and rusty, um, or potentially rusty. But, I mean, the biggest thing is just that good quality Kydex, high quality leather, the stitching, the rivets, you know, you just got it all there that I'm telling you, 100% worth the money and the weight. Um, I mean, most hol holster companies right now, I'm just telling you that everybody has a lead time because the demand is so high at the time of filming this video because of everything that's going on. But this is such a good holster, I just, can't express it enough, I guess. <laughs> um, also, the company, I mean, they have just been amazing to work with. Really good people, really good service. I mean, I've really enjoyed working with them. And so having an opportunity to represent them a third time, is just an honor for me. And uh, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of looking for a new type of holster. Um, I think I've already talked one, uh, a guy into it that comes into the range all the time. I know he asked me all about it and was going to look him up. Um, I haven't asked him yet if he's ordered one, but I'm telling you, you're going to want one extremely comfortable. So if you're looking for outside the waistband and still easy to conceal, this is your answer. Okay guys, in the meantime, be prepared, have fun, and check out Craft Holsters.